question for y'all. Have you ever been going through a breakup and you just felt so alone and you didn't know what to do with yourself? Well, I've been there. So ladies, here's a list of movies that cheer me up during that time. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this video. Before I do, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and share it with some of your friends or family that you know may need this. Because, I mean, we all have been through a breakup or you might just want to watch the movies. So, let's go ahead and jump into these movies. Alright, movie number one, and these movies are not in no particular order. So, movie number one is Girls Trip. Girls Trip is all about a group of girls that go on a trip um, for the New Orleans Fest and for um, a girl, a woman, I should say, um, that is doing business there. So she has her friends tag along and they're kind of like reuniting. And it's a funny movie. It's a comedy movie, but it's definitely all about breakups and makeups and woman empowerment so if you would like to see that movie i'm definitely gonna list it down below but it is a must see it is hilarious and it will get you in the mood of laughing and making you feel good so girls trip is definitely highly highly suggested waiting to accept now i'm gonna do a disclaimer because all of my friends said waiting to excel so i'm gonna do a disclaimer because i love waiting to excel um it's a movie it's it's a drama has a little bit of comedy but it just depends on your own sense of humor however in waiting to exhale it's about four women going through different types of relationships and yeah, it deals with relationships. However, if you are like in a state where you might do something not rational, you might not want to watch that movie because Angela Bassett blows up a car, not to give away the whole movie. So majority of people have seen that movie. But if you have not, Angela Bassett blows up a car. Do not do this, ladies. That is not... While we are watching this movie, we are not planning, I mean, planning to destruct anyone's property. We <laughs> want to just get the richness of the, of the uh, movie, okay? Do not do anything that you see in this movie, okay? Just take their advice, take their word for it that it happened, okay? And it, don't do it. Don't, don't try none of that at home. All right, so this next movie is one of my personal favorites, and a lot of people don't know about this movie. This movie was produced by Megan Good, and it's called Love by the Tenth Date. It is a movie that was on Lifetime. I really love this movie because Megan really represents me. I am very goofy, very silly, and um, I... I don't have a hard time dating. I have a hard time committing, committing. I really have a struggle with committing. And this movie is all about a girl that is trying to get to the 10th date. She has never been on 10 consistent dates with a guy before giving it up. She's like always giving it up by the second date. And then he goes her, he leaves. So I would recommend watching this movie. Um, it's definitely a self-empowerment movie. Um, I really, really love, love that movie. It's definitely one of those go-to movies. And I'm dancing because I got this song that she sings in that movie in my head. Oh, and it addresses a lot of things. It addresses um, bisexuality in a relationship. It reaches, it, it, it touches on open relationships. It touches on celibacy. Watch Love by the Tenth Date, ladies. All right, my ultimate favorite movie is How to Be Single. I love this movie, y'all. 
that is my go-to movie when i am feeling down i love that movie so how to be single if you don't know it's about a girl that um she breaks up with her boyfriend in order to find herself however she wants to get back with him and now she has to date because he's now in a relationship so to make a long story short this is another movie that's very funny very silly however it really if you like listen to the deeper context you probably will get more out of this movie than you ever have like um any other movie it's really really deep but really really funny but you have to listen you really really have to listen so i would say watch it but watch it once and then watch it twice so you can really get the meaning behind everything that goes on but it's really about finding yourself and taking a period to like have like think about yourself and be single taking a period to be single all right so this is another movie this next movie is another movie that a lot of people have not seen it's called with this ring with this ring is a movie um it has jill scott in it regina i want to say regina hall or regina king i get the regina's mixed up all the time however the regina from girl strip is in this movie and i love this movie it's about um four girls that vow to get married well, actually three girls that vowed to get married in a year. And when they vow to get married in a year's time, they're like racing and they state that if they don't get engaged or proposed to, they have to call that guy. You know, that one guy that always want to date you, but you don't want to date him. They got to call that guy. So it is definitely a must, must see. Um, it has a lot of valuable points and I love that movie, live by that movie. All right. Then line between love and hate. That is a drama slash comedy movie because anything that Martin is in, I don't care if he was in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Something is just going to be bound to be funny <laughs> because Martin ain't got no sense. <laughs> like he just is silly so then line between love and hate is a really good breakup movie but if you are not in a state of mind where you can see serious things don't watch that movie because lynn whitfield y'all first of all she was one of my favorite actresses until she played that part she played that part too good now i think she crazy like my mother and father can definitely state that i used to watch josephine baker's story all the time just because of lynn whitfield whitfield and after watching then line between love and hate it's a great movie it's very funny but baby lynn whitfield is crazy she is legit psycho in that movie so it's a must must watch but if you ain't ready do not watch that movie don't don't watch that movie boomerang y'all boomerang is a classic breakup movie okay if you have broken up with somebody watch boomerang and pretend like you robbing okay give that energy back to that man okay or woman whoever's watching this give that energy back okay because robin she channeled her energy she knew who she was and that was about it hallie i liked her in the movie but i couldn't have played her part i couldn't have played her part because like she was talking to the friend and she was talking to eddie like we we ain't got time for you hallie in that movie but robin <laughs> robin gave us life y'all robin was the life in that movie so definitely watch uh boring Here's another serious movie, but fun to watch, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all state of mind ain't here, don't watch this movie. Diary of a Mad Black Woman, okay? First of all, for me, the play was funnier than the movie. However, the movie is a classic. Like, 
yeah the movie is definitely a classic i would definitely recommend watching that yeah she really got back at her ex-husband because he tried it <laughs> he tried it y'all and you see how he ran back that's why you gotta you gotta yeah, watch that movie because he came back and i'm trying to tell y'all if he come back or she come back whoever come back don't take them back learn from the first first go round, y'all don't don't take them back. I'm I'm mm -mm. I have learned like mm -mm, I'm not taking nobody back. No, there's a reason why we broke up in the first place, and I don't need a reminder or a suggestion or any of your advice from my new from my ex boyfriend. I don't need you to be my friend. We're done. That's it. That's it. Period. All right. So take a lesson from Diary of a Mad Black Woman, okay? Take, take, a, take a lesson from that. All right, here's another sweet favorite, Sweet Home Alabama. I love this movie, it's so cute. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Anything Reese Witherspoon is pretty much in is going to be some female empowerment movie. If you notice, she's always playing a role where she's empowering women like legally blonde um which she played a non-smart blonde but was smart as at the end like she killed that role and it's sweet sweet home alabama she doesn't disappoint again she doesn't disappoint um i love her authenticity in this movie how she went from being like so bougie so bad to becoming going going back to her roots and finding true love sometimes ladies we have to go back to our roots and find true love and one thing i could say it is in that movie she was channeling at first the masculine energy she was being independent she she had a guy friend but she was more you know, she made a lot of money, so her energy was more masculine. She was taking on a masculine role in her life. However, once she went home and dug into her roots, she was able to channel that feminine energy, if that makes sense. All right, just a couple of more. So, two can play that game. This is a fun favorite with Vivica Fox is all about playing games. Ladies, if you watch this movie and you have not seen it before, do not play any of the above games that Vivica Fox tells you to play. Do not play games in a relationship. Just have fun and go with the flow. Playing the games and doing all that stuff is for the birds and y'all gonna, that's probably the reason why y'all broke up because somebody was playing games, period bad moms so bad moms is kind of a breakup movie but then again not but then again yes because the mom she did break up with dad and yes but let me tell y'all bad moms is just one of those movies that if you watch it afterwards you are going to feel 10 times better it's gonna make you laugh it's going to really put you in the mood of I could do anything. It's really all about women and self-empowerment. I love that movie. So definitely check that movie out. And last but not least, I think it's everybody's favorite movie. Well, it's pretty much one of mine. Bridesmaids. <laughs> Bridesmaids definitely is one of those movies that a woman goes through relationships and, um, different she is trying to find herself but while she's in the process of finding herself she meets a guy and she channels her you know she really pretty much channels her feminine energy and start loving herself again but while not loving her best friend because you know sometimes when we don't love ourselves we end up in toxic situations with our friends so I really love that movie. It's so funny. So, 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 so funny. And it's really, really another one of those empowering movies. <laughs> so go ahead and comment down below 
what's one of your favorite movies? What's one of the favorite movies that you watch after a breakup? If it's not listed, go ahead and list it. If it is listed, go ahead and state it and tell us why. So again, going through a breakup is not easy. It's just not easy. Um, but just always know it's not you. It's them, y'all. It's them. So as I always say, faith makes things possible, not easy. Always remember to stay safe, sane, and sanitized. And while you're doing that, go ahead and subscribe. Again, as always, all my videos are done with love.